Yo, what's good with you on today's video? I got the I tried to make a tower defense game video and stuff. If you saw my I tried to make a battlegrounds video, battlegrounds game video, then you'll know this same concept is pretty much just me taking the stuff I made for my tutorial series and trying to make it into a real game. Before I get into, before I go any further though, let me tell you the footage y'all are watching right now of me fighting. I was so mad that I lost. First of all, I'm playing on a different computer, and second of all, my teammate is ass, bro. Like, I was so mad that I lost. But anyway, that's besides the point and stuff. So, um, pretty much, if you don't know the series, <clears throat> it's just where I take my scripts from my tutorial series and try to make it into a real game and stuff. If you're interested in making a uh, tower defense tower defense game i have a whole series on how to make it and stuff you can find the playlist and everything on my channel so yeah i'm gonna walk you guys through the steps and everything and yeah see you guys in the next step all right what's good guys so as you can see i have all the um stuff here and so this is uh the files and everything from uh my tower defense game series so i plan to make my tower defense game a little differently i don't plan to have like a lobby and um the actual place you go to to fight the you know enemies and everything i plan to have it to make it just one place so pretty much each each server will have just the one like this player size of one like only one player will be able be able to enter the server and stuff right so you'll be able to purchase units and everything in that same place and then you'll have waves and everything so what i plan to do is just integrate all the stuff so that it works in one place and then i plan to improve the obviously like make this you know look nicer and stuff i obviously didn't care to make it look nice for the tutorial series but yeah I'm gonna make this look nicer. Um, probably make the wave system more difficult and everything, but I'll walk you guys through each individual step and everything. So yeah, as you can see so far, I have the conveyor, I have like, you know, the track and everything. I got invisible walls so that the, you know, enemies don't slide out. Uh, you got the player gate right here, which is, you know, you see the health display and then you have the enemy gate over here where the enemies spawn from. And then we have our scripts and stuff, unit. This is uh, the units and stuff that will be dropped into um, the workspace and the enemy units. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next part. Yo, what's good with y'all? So in for the first thing, we have teleporters. So I wanted to come up with like an interesting teleporting concept. Obviously, I didn't make this and stuff. You guys know I don't build anything. All of the scripting and UI is by me, hence why the UI probably looks not so nice. But yeah, so I wanted to come up with a decent, you know, a nicer way of teleporting rather than just stepping on a platform and then you're just teleported away. So I, so I got this model from the toolbox and then I made it so that um you step inside. I'm mean, gonna have instructions so players know, but you step inside, right? You you have to be certain distance um from the the uh, click detector. Then once you click it, you hear the sound. Your screen starts to fade away a little, and then boom, you're t you're uh, teleported. Ignore this. This is from stuff I made like for commission like two years ago. But the point is, this is gonna be the wave place and stuff. Oh, and by the way, I changed my mind. Like I know how I told y'all that I was gonna have it all in one place. And then I realized that it was too difficult to integrate all that stuff into one. Like, that would take too long. So I was like, you know what? Let me just stick to the, you know, we have one place for the lobby and then one place for the wave system. So, yeah. So I set up the lobby, as you can clearly see. And then I'm going to uh, move move all the stuff from my videos for the wave system. Here, we're going to have the track. I'm going to make it better and everything. So, yeah. This is just the first thing of setting up the teleporters. And then I'm going to probably make some improvements to the unit system. Like, um, make it so that there are actual images for the units um probably make a few more units and then um yeah and then yeah from there i think i'll just improve the wave system a little bit and then yeah so i'll see you guys in the next update yo scooch y'all so here here to show you guys an update so as you can see i've clearly redone the map i got like a custom sky from the toolbox and stuff i changed the teleporters and stuff so it's like you just walk to it now and stuff um the the whole teleporting and stuff it works the same as i showed you guys in the last thing so i'm gonna show you guys what i'm working on now so i'm kind of going through the ui trying to make them look a little different i'm trying to switch to like this new like this darker look rather than um like this bright rather than bright colors i'm trying to have a dark color type thing i think this looks nicer so i added in some units i switched it from a text label system to an image label system so or sorry image button system so now you have images for units instead of uh text and stuff which is actually something a lot of people in my tower defense series want me to do which i probably will and stuff right so i plan to add where um you can either you hover over the unit or you click the unit and then like their stats will appear over here to the top so you can see so here you would see all the units you own and then here you would see the units stats and stuff once you click or hover over them i haven't decided what i plan to do but yeah so i'm going to go through i'm going to change the colors and everything make everything have like dark colors and stuff and then yeah um not really too much else left to do here i'm just i should probably move that too because it's in, in the middle of the hot bar but anyway so yeah so i just plan to 
uh, redo the colors. I've already done this. Like, let me show you guys the summon system. So now, um, summon and stuff. It'll tell you the unit as well as um, show you what it looks like. The you know the image label for it and stuff. Right. So from here, I'm just gonna redo the UI so it's just a little darker, a little nicer, and then um, making sure you can show your stats make sure the equip system works and then from there i think i'm good to go to the wave system and then make improvements to that so yeah i will see you guys in the next update yo what's good with y'all so this is probably the last update i will give um in the lobby and stuff like that i've pretty much finished everything show you guys the ui revamp and stuff you see if you watch my tower defense series you'll see the color difference i, I want to go for a more um darker colored thing and stuff so yeah again you guys already know i am not a ui maker so the ui you know it's decent for me is this decent you know it's good enough for me and stuff so as you guys can see i've also i've switched over from a text label system to a image label and stuff well, well these are image buttons but yeah you guys get the point i switched to images now and then if you hover over them you'll see you have the stats on the left um at the top is of course the name of the unit the range the cooldown and the minimum to maximum damage and stuff right and then if you click it you can equip them in your um hot bar and stuff so then when you're done, you will just hop into the teleporter, teleport over to the wave place, and then, you know, you would start the wave defense. So yeah, this is probably my last video, Um, I mean, last video, last part of the video where I'm actually in the lobby, I'm making back, but I don't know. But I'm moving on to the wave system and stuff, and I'm going to be making improvements there, so I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's good, so I just wanted to hit y'all with an update and stuff, second day of working on the, um... The game i'm in the wave um system and everything so, so i make some improvements as you can see i got the map and stuff this new map i got from the toolbox i've also got new enemies mobs and uh gonna transfer over the other units as well oh i already transferred them over right so as you can see i've redone it well if you watch my tower defense series you'll see it's different i now have icons that i got from like this free website and stuff um i plan to make it so that the enemies like my uh my idea is this i'm gonna have like a point right here like an invisible part i'm gonna, I'm gonna have the mobs walk like this is where they spawn and i'm gonna have them walk to this part then there's gonna be another invisible part right here they're gonna walk to this part then walk here and then you guys get the point until they reach you know the final destination so that's how i think i'm gonna uh just do it this was some basic pathfinding and everything right um i do gotta fix the money thing because it's created it's for some reason spawning it with the money symbol it's the, yeah right there that's yeah right there that's the problem so yeah there we go so let me just delete that so yeah so boom i fixed that um i'm trying to think yeah i got the money the health i'm no longer doing like a health above the gate i'm just doing a health above the top if you can't tell i've taken inspiration from anime defenders that's what i was trying to kind of base this game off rather than toilet tower defense i played some an some anime defender to get some you know get an idea of how the game is and everything and i'm like this is definitely way better than toilet tower defense so I was like, let me base it off of this instead. Use it for some inspiration. So yeah. So I plan to make the enemies, like I said, walk from here. Walk to there. I have a um I got some mobs from the uh, uh toolbox and stuff by Gnome <clears throat> Bro, I don't know why my voice is so screechy. But Gnome Code, the YouTuber, he also did the tower his tower defense series, I believe, a few years ago and stuff. But yeah, he had some mobs and stuff, so I was like perfect. So yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next update. Yo, what's good with y'all? So in this update i've pretty much revamped the moving the movement uh system like the way the um uh mobs or enemies whatever you want to call them the way they move and stuff so pretty much instead of having it like before i had it to where um uh i had it to like a tycoon system where like they just sit still and then they're, they just like you know like a tycoon like it's just a conveyor and then they just like this they're just sliding around but now i have it to where they actually walk to invisible parts i have a part right here right here pretty much every turn so here and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick and i also added a walk animation so boom once they reach that point you'll notice they stop for like a brief second and then they move to the next point and stuff so yeah so i feel like this looks 100 percent better than before it was you know very stiff before so now I got this type of system and stuff, they walk each point and then they'll stop at the um gate and everything. Um I need to add the uh you know, I need to fix the unit placement system and stuff so that it works with the image, you know, because we switched from text labels to image systems. So I need to fix the unit placement system, but yeah. So this is where I'm at so far. Um I said everything is looking good, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next update. Yo, what's good with y'all? I just wanted to hit y'all with an update and stuff. So the last one for the day. 
So pretty much, as you can see, I've re I've reskilled a lot of the UI and stuff because you know it looks different than obviously like when you when you're in studio and have all that stuff open, it doesn't like the sizing doesn't look right. It looks right in studio, but it doesn't look right in actual game. So I had to rescale everything and every, and stuff. So things look things looks much better to me now. I'm probably gonna put move the coins next level over here. But anyway, see, so, yeah, so I rescaled everything. Things look nice and stuff. Um. So let me go ahead and go teleport over to the other place. I'm gonna show you guys what I've done. So I revamped a lot of the towers, uh, a lot of the stuff over here. So I finished the placement system. Like I said, also redid the UI here so it looks nicer and stuff. So look, I'm gonna vote easy, right? You guys will see I have uh, new NPCs and stuff. These are the models I got from the works. I'm um, sorry, the toolbox and stuff. And I can now place my um, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, my units. Yeah, yeah, my units. So yeah, so I can now place them, and then all units are supposed, or sorry, all enemies are, are gonna have animations and stuff, as well as the units and stuff. The yeah, all enemies are gonna have animations and stuff. I just have to fix the Teddy animation, but yeah. So they're gonna have animations and stuff. These animations actually came with the model itself. So I was like, I was like, perfect. They all have their own unique animation and stuff, right? And then yeah, all the models work. Um, I'm planning to make it so that the units will like every time they hit the um enemy, they'll turn and face the direction that the enemy's in to avoid issues like this, where like the where like the um the unit is facing the wrong direction. So yeah, I plan to fix that. Um, and then obviously I gotta make it so that they fully go over here and that uh health is reduced when they you know make contact with it and i gotta fix the 500 out of 100 i didn't i did just realize that actually so yeah it's just some stuff to fix and then fine tune and yeah i plan to give the units animations as well and stuff i really spent most of the later afternoon of the day um reskilling the ui and repositioning it so it's more so like in the middle and all that stuff i had an issue where like the units would like stay in between the ground so now they all stay above the ground so yeah, these are all the units. Well, these are five out of six of the units, but yeah. Um, now that I think about it, this is still more to the left rather than like in the middle. So I'll probably recenter that. But anyway, so hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next update. Yo, what's good with y'all? So okay, so honestly, I actually kind of forgot to give y'all to do any updates and stuff today. Or let me forget that. I forgot to make updates video wise. I've been working on the game, but I forgot to let y'all know. So I'll go ahead and let you guys know what I've been doing. So I got all the units and everything right. I like it took forever, like making sure they all spawn correctly and everything. I decided to make them about the same size as like a regular player, and the same goes for the enemy units and stuff. I also flattened down the track. So now pretty much um the units when they're here, they're going to turn and face whatever direction they're uh the opponent is like the enemy i should say so if they're shooting at so if they're facing this way and the opponent's like right here they're going to turn to the left and face whatever direction the enemy is in right i plan to give each one of them uh, a weapon as you can see the barbarian already has his axe so i plan to oh well, the warrior already has a sword but yeah i'm gonna give the viking like a i don't know maybe like a, a long sword or something i don't know but yeah i'm gonna give all of them weapons and then i'm gonna get animations for them so that um every time they do an attack they play an animation and they all have their specific sounds some of them it'll be swords some of them it'll be axes and so unfortunately i didn't have any characters with guns i was hoping to have like so i could have some diversity most of them really just use swords but it, but eh, it's fine but yeah so i made some adjustments to that um the enemy unit i had to replace one so i have four enemy units skeleton mech noob and zombie they all have their own individual stats and everything um so yeah the tower defense game i feel like we're in the final stages i think i'm going to be done with this by tomorrow literally all i want to do from here is just make it so that um animations to play whenever they use their attacks they all have their own individual sound effects and then just test to make sure like the way the stats are um, the way the stats are with each individual unit, it's perfectly okay. Like making sure, okay, the enemies don't have too much health, they don't have too little health, making sure the units, um, cooldowns aren't too long, etc, etc. Just making sure it's like a playable game and it's not like, oh, that's easy or oh, that's impossible to beat. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next, um, update. I think there's, I'll probably only do like any two max three more updates before the video's over. All right, yo, let's go with y'all, let's go with y'all. So it is officially done. The game is fully made and everything. Link to play it is in the description and in the comment section. You see, we have a working shop system, trade system as well. Not that I really think people will use that since it's only like five units, but anyway. And stuff, the summoning system works just fine and stuff. You guys will have a thousand coins by default instead of my, 
you know, I started with like a million and stuff. I have instructions at the top so people aren't confused. Um, we have our units where you can see all their stats and everything. Uh, did I? Oh, I missed equipping the samurai. So, yeah. So, you simply walk into the teleporter and everything, right? It'll teleport us over there. You can mute the music if I want to and stuff. I can place my units and stuff. You're only allowed to place the units on uh, the grass area. So if you see, clearly, I can't place it on the track or anywhere else for that matter, right? Each unit has its own individual sound based on its weapon. So, the barbarian has like an axe sound, the viking has like a uh bow and arrow type of sound then the knight has like a long sword type of sound and stuff and they all have their each uh individual weapons with their own animations as well um you can see the wave system the wave numbers displayed here is about to change to two in a second it's going slow because i chose easy then how much money you have is displayed top right as well as the top left your health is right here once an enemy reaches the gate they'll do uh they take away 10 from your health once you reach a zero you'll be sent back to the main place if you survive all the waves it'll send you back to the main place but you'll get a congratulations message along with um you know a reward once you get back so you'll be rewarded based on whatever difficulty you chose to uh you chose and stuff obviously the harder the difficulty the more money the more money you'll get and everything right then this is obviously the mob count and stuff you can see we moved up to this moves on to the second wave and everything for some reason i don't i can never understand it but the skeleton doesn't like his health bar wouldn't display properly but but you are dealing damage though just to let people know you are dealing damage and stuff as you'll see he's about to he's about yeah see he died and stuff. i don't know why his health bar doesn't display but yeah and as you can see the mobs also have their own custom walk animations and stuff now the skeleton and zombie do have the same animation because i couldn't find a different one but the noob and the mech they, they got their own as you can clearly see but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoyed the uh, game as well and stuff as i said if you want to make a tower defense game i have a whole series on how to make a tower defense game you guys can go watch it i will be gradually in for all my people who do watch the series i will be gradually like rolling over all the stuff i've done for this series on or sorry the series this video onto that series and stuff like all the stuff you know the cell system the updated ui the images and stuff i'll be rolling all that over slowly it's the periodic but yeah not gonna lie tower defenders tower defenders you can take a minute <laughs> but yeah i'll be rolling that over um if you want access to to this model like all this stuff i've done or any of my other scripts models you guys can become either a channel member or a description subscriber linked either one of those options can be found in the description uh also if you want to watch my battlegrounds i tried to make a battlegrounds game video you can also do that it's literally the same exact concept as like this video and stuff but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the game if you did definitely leave some comments and leave you know leave some kind words in the comments if you enjoyed the video or the game itself but yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video and i'm about to ping my subscribers to test and stuff i won't do like a clip thing because it's like you you're the only person in the actual uh game so i can't really you know be with everyone like in the battlegrounds but yeah see you guys in the next video thank you for watching